Yo, what is going on, you guys? So today I'm bringing guys a brand new sports cards video. Now in today's video, I will be showing you guys the sports cards to invest in today, the sports cards that I'm investing in today, and um, what I really think will go up in value over the next few months. Um, most of these are kind of like mid to short term investments. Um, could be long term, but for me, they're mid to short term investments. But before we get into that, I do want to say, as you guys know, I do have my membership program. Now, um, I am at Sports Card Invest on Instagram. Now, if you guys don't know, I basically released every single week um, weekly reports of 10 cards I believe will go up, 10 cards I believe should be sold that week, and three long term underground NBA investments. Now, I basically show you guys where I buy my cards from, what I'm paying for a card. You know how much or where yeah where to find the deal how much to buy it for all that type of stuff so you guys basically we got to learn and know exactly what i'm investing in when i'm investing now i was telling you guys to buy these kobe bgs 9.5s when they're around 250 to 300 um right now they're up to around 550 that was my best my biggest investment of the past month and then also these kevin durant's which is which have absolutely skyrocketed as well from around 200 to 500 so if you guys are interested in going ahead and making some money with me um, and my members, go ahead and DM me on Instagram at Sports Card Invest. It is $6.99 for the month or $40 for the year. But if you are from YouTube and you mention it, um, I am doing running a discount of $5 for the month or $35 for the year. So go ahead and message me if you guys are interested. Without further ado, we're going to hop right into the video. So some sports cards that I am investing in today. Um, one of the big ones I've been buying quite a bit of still is the Shaquille O'Neal um, Tops PSA 10. Um, so I definitely recommend if you guys are buying the Shaq to either buy PSA 10 or BGS 9.5. Just because the print runs were quite high on this card. So it obviously if the demand's there, this card's gonna go up either way. But um I do believe that definitely if a if a Kobe documentary comes out, this Shaq card's gonna absolutely skyrocket. Even with the um we saw it with Kobe's cards, right? Even though Kobe's cards have um a pretty high print run, a very high print run. Um, they're still doing extremely well, and that's just because the demand's there. And I believe that, that Shaq is definitely a cultural phenom, and the demand will be there for Shaq. So um, if a Kobe documentary comes out, if people just start buying Shaq, which I believe people will, um, this card should, there's no reason it shouldn't be a six $700 card, even with the, um, as you guys can see, it's going for around, um, we're going to do end soonest, um, Okay, so it's going for around in the range of 380. I've been seeing some sell for. Um, so that's definitely a pretty good time to get in, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, you guys should definitely go ahead buy some Shaq if you believe in him, and yeah, if you believe he will go up in value. Um, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the second investment and the third investments, which kind of go hand in hand. I would say De'Aaron Fox and Donovan Mitchell are some two guys who I really think are undervalued still um as you guys know um a lot of the hype has been on, i don't know why this bids at eight dollars um some auctions are going really low this um but yeah basically a lot of guys a lot of heads are on luca trey um zion ja and fox and mitchell are kind of slept on i feel um all it takes is them to have a nice season next season and these prices should be a lot higher than they are um so i definitely recommend i say now is the cheapest deer and fox and donovan mitchell will ever be um so i think now is basically the best time to get in if you ask me i've been buying a lot of these fox and mitchell cards um, just because I believe the market's going to turn to them eventually if they have a good season. Um, people will see how good, you know, they will turn out to be eventually. Um, so I definitely believe that Darren Fox and Donovan Mitchell are going to be great investments. Next, um, I believe Kyrie Irving. Um, if you guys know me, obviously I'm a Warriors fan. Kyrie's not my guy, but in terms of making money, um, I believe he is my guy right now because Kyrie's cards... Um, first of all, before we even talk about Kyrie, this is a 2012-2013 Panini Prism. First year Prism. It's an extremely iconic set. And um, Kyrie's one of the best players behind Kawhi in this set. So I definitely believe his prices can go up a lot. Um, 
I've been getting some BGS 9.5s. I was buying them back in the day for around 80 bucks. Right now, they're around like 150, 170. Um, definitely a good deal still to get in. Um, his PSA 10s are above 300. I believe they do have the potential to reach 6, 700 if he plays well with Kevin Durant next season or in the um, postseason this year. If he has a good playoffs, I believe he could be a 6, 700 dollar card. Um, definitely some guy I'm going pretty hard on right now. Um, and I really hope that he performs. Obviously, known superstar. Um, and he will obviously have another time in his career where he's putting up some great numbers and his prices can have the potential to go up a lot. Um, so another guy, obviously, I'm going in for is Kevin Durant. He's already gone up quite a bit, but um, I do definitely think he has a lot more room to go up, especially with these PSA 9s. They're sitting a little bit cheap, um, in my opinion. Obviously, the print runs are quite high again, but I still believe that the... Um, yeah, like, the, oh, okay, that's BCSG. Okay, but basically, yeah, if you can get these for under 200 for a PSA 9, 175, um, pretty good deal, honestly. I would go ahead and buy um, quite a bit more. I was getting them a lot cheaper. I don't know why these bids are still so low. Um, we're going to go ahead and just bid these up. Okay, so maybe like 115. Um, yeah, I really believe that Kevin Durant is... Um, gonna go up a lot more in value when he comes back and you know if he just comes back and has a few good games I believe he has the potential to go up quite a bit once people get his injury concerns out the way um, So yeah, that's definitely something the Fleer is also um, Definitely something I'd go for um, But yeah, Kevin Durant's another guy Another guy's the man Stephen Curry. Obviously you guys know he's been injured last season um, definitely believe his cards are quite undervalued, especially his upper decks and stuff. I personally don't own any, don't own any of his upper decks because I've been buying his tops. But I believe that this is the best deal right now. If you do want to make money on Stephen Curry buying right now, I believe this is the best deal. Um, definitely, I feel like all of his cards are gonna absolutely take a skyrocket. Um, obviously he changed the game. He's you know, unanimous MVP, two-time MVP, three-time champion. Um, his legacy is already solidified, and his card prices should see um, some more, you know, attention once he comes back and hopefully makes another playoff run next season. But that's pretty much been the video. Once again, if you guys are interested in my membership program, go ahead and message me on Instagram. Once again, a notable mention actually is Trey Young. Um, just believe he's underpriced in my opinion. Um, super fun guy to watch. I've been buying a lot of his cards lately. Um, and I hope he has another great season next season. But yeah, that's pretty much been the video. Once again, if you guys are interested in my membership program, message me on Instagram at Sports Card Invest. I'm happy to get you guys set up. Um, but yeah, other than that, I hope you all enjoy it, and I'm out. Peace.